so I want to begin uh, just by noting some new investments that you're going to be seeing and that I'll be asking the County Commission to endorse this coming Tuesday. You may have also seen that the University of Georgia announced more than $7 million of new investments in public safety yesterday. We deeply appreciate the partnership we have with the university in so many regions. They are stalwart collaborators, and we are glad to work together on this. So among the first things you're going to be seeing rolling out for endorsement by the commission this Tuesday is advancing our real-time crime center. We took the first step toward this real-time crime center in the last budget year, and we're going to be advancing this to completion, including making sure that we tie all our publicly accessible cameras and those private cameras that have engaged with us into a unified system and staffing that real-time crime center on each shift so that we can rapidly pursue cases. You're also going to see, for endorsement by the Commission on Tuesday, a mobile closed-circuit television heavy-duty surveillance trailer. This means that when we have large-scale community events, large gatherings in the summertime and festivals, that we can act in a mobile manner in the way that we will want to act in high-crime areas every day and every week. Given our expanding trail network in the community, what we're also going to experience is funding of additional all-terrain vehicles for our police department so that those places that are difficult to traverse on foot or by motor vehicle, we can get to very quickly and consistently. And finally, among new expenditures, we're going to expand our pan, to, pan, tilt, and zoom camera array to those places where data would indicate to us that we need to have them consistently based on the lived experience of our officers and the chief. <clears throat> 